Welcome to another Parasha and Mental Health Reflection for the Sedra of Vayechi. It's been quite a journey since the creation of Adam and Eve. They weren't such great parents and one kid killed another kid and then jump four generations and most of humanity is wiped out because everybody's just living it wrong. Noah's son does something inappropriate to him and he gets cursed and Avraham, Yitzhak, they had children who get thrown out of the family. Joseph disappears to, disappears to Yaakov and we get to the end of the book of Bereshit and where are we? Well, there's quite a beautiful idyllic scene with the dying Jacob in his deathbed and all the boys gathered round their father's bed as a unified family, first time ever, the whole, a family that seems to be a cohesive unit working together. But in the background, the, the brothers are scared. What will happen once dad dies? Will Joseph seek revenge? So the development of people and how we behave has been quite a journey. It's not a simple one. It's not simple getting being human right. It's a challenge that humanity struggled with and continues to struggle with. You are struggling and that just makes you normal. There's one thing that I noticed in this week's Torah portion is the amount of love that's demonstrated. When Yaakov sees his grandchildren, he hugs them and kisses them. When he passes away, Joseph kisses him and cries. Let's not forget to be people. There's the very human element at the end of the first book of the Torah. Normal human emotion. I don't know where people get it from, that to be religious or to be connected you have to be stoic and frigid and not show how you feel the end of the first book gives us a family working together and being very human crying hugging and loving let's just take that from the last story in the book of Bereshit let's not forget to demonstrate our love and affection in life before it's too late so go and hug someone and say that tell them you love them Wish them Shabbat Shalom. Take care. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazak.